औरों में कहा दम था तबु अजय देवकर दे मेक वंडरफुल पेयर देव गिवन अस मेनी फिल्म इवन ड्यूरिंग द रुक 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 डेज ऑफ तबू शी जल्द वेल विथ अजय देवकर एंड अजय देवकर or a period in time may be a limited actor but he is also an actor who works within his limitations and hasn't really been somebody you just write off as a non actor not a brilliant actor but he won national awards so he's taken serious so the very idea that you're going to see the 40 pluses coming together on a mature romance or mature love story makes intriguing viewing also neeraj pandey who gives you very different kinds of stories the akshay kumar story or the raids is given you a wednesday so his filmography in sheer variety has grown a lot and kudos to him for deciding to tell a story like aura mein kahan tum tha fortunately for neeraj a few things go are very strangely the most important aspect of the film the biggest noteworthy experiment of the film falters in execution so story about the protagonists you have uh, vasudha and krishna krishna is ajay devgan vasudha is uh, tabu uh ajay devgan is krishna uh, prisoner who's uh, undergoing a life sentence he gets a pardon over a period of time not actually a pardon he gets a remission and the film begins with uh, a remission being announced by the jail superintendent jitain lalwani but he does not want to go out because he's not prepared for the evil world outside nice interesting thought But the prison world is a little more hygienic than the world outside. A thought. The story goes that he was in love with Vasudha Tabu. They were both living in Charles. He an aspiring computer graduate, and she wanted to become an entrepreneur. Now the twist in the presentation is that instead of this using the uh, Devgan and Tabu as the youngsters romancing as college going students or youngsters making uh, falling in love Neeraj decides to use two different faces and therefore gets Shantanu Maheshwari to play the young Krish and Saini Manjrekar to play the young Vasudha both fail to deliver both fail to deliver probably for two reasons to begin with Shantanu No, I would have loved to see see Ishan Khatir playing that role. So much of talent in the world, he doesn't get one too many roles of this kind. So I would have paid up and made him the most authentic uh, younger Ajay Devgan in the movie. And in so far as the girl is concerned, a little more scouting would have helped. I don't think Saini Manjrekar was mature enough to carry that. What Tabu does, because you know in Tabu's character, it's not that. the goings on in the movie have made mature right from the beginning she is a person with her own mind now going back to the narrative the love story gets derailed when krishna is sent to jail for murdering two people the narrative shows you that he murders two guys who is along with the uh, hartik soni playing pakia the main villain three of them kidnap uh, vasudha this an attempt to rape her he comes krishna comes and murders two of them and they next they don't show you thankfully the court scenes and all the fast forward he's in jail years later when he's out from jail you have tabu and uh, ajay devgan meeting now now tabu is married and she's married to abhijit a very pleasant performance from Jimmy Shirk. While a major part of the film is about the love story between the younger Krishna and the younger Vasudha. 
that was not going to be the mainstream of the story, mainstay of the film. The mainstay of the film is the maturing of the love, the yearning between uh, Tabu and Ajay Devgan. And all of this cinematic time is lost in the narrative showing us the younger Krishna and the younger Vasudha. This fails. So what starts off as a good idea fails in the execution. Then they, but in the post interval, in a very well written story and very well written dialogues, the last 15 minutes, Tabu and Ajay, they've gone do everything to take the film to a top level. They almost are reminiscent of a Virat doing the final, uh, or a Virat, or a Mahindra Singh Dhoni coming in late, changing gears, batting to win a match for you. Amazing, both of them. I think this is a. For the last 15 minutes, is an emotive investment that I would recommend, notwithstanding an otherwise very poorly executed film. As I said, cast sometimes is the undoing of the film. Both the younger Krishna and the younger Vasudha do not muster enough to keep the audience. And their love story is very pedantic, very run of the mill. And suddenly the maturity that Krishna shows or uh, Vasudha exhibits in the post-marital life are very interesting. While Tabu is such a good actor, it will sound preposterous for a film critique to say, could I have had somebody else in Tabu's place? But I am tempted and I know I may be disturbing the hornet's nest. I would have loved to see Shefali in that role. She's in great form. She's an amazing actress. You don't need dialogues for Shefali. Tabu, yes. But I, I, I just walked out of the theatre hoping that I would have seen Shefali in that role. And the entire interesting formula and its uh, way of making. I would like to tell Neeraj Pandey, yes, Auru mein kahan dham tha, lekin aapki film mein bhi to dham nahi tha. If there is any dham in that movie, it's that last final punch that Tabu and Ajay Devakar unsparingly offer on a plate to the viewer. Acknowledging contributions from Datu and Abhinav for reaching this out to you. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Bye-bye.